Hello y'all, shalom, welcome back to my channel. It's been a long day. I just got off work and you know what I gotta do today? I'm embarrassed to show y'all. <laughs> I got van chores to do, van chores. My van is dirty. I have to clean it up because I just can't deal with unorganized mess. So that's what we're going to do today. I am at the park. It's really nice. It's about 86 degrees outside. I'm in the shaded area. Uh, not a lot of not a lot of people out here today, but uh, yeah. So I'm gonna show you the park, and then I'm gonna show you the mess I gotta clean. <laughs> trash can right there. Hey, for my trash. Yes. Look at this nice little park. I'm over here. I think I'm over here by myself. Yeah, I'm over here by myself. Just chilling. Let me turn my van off. Uh, yeah. So, let me show you what I'm dealing with. <laughs> Look at that mess, you guys. Look at this, look at that. It's just messy. And it's mainly clothes, so I gotta get my clothes ready, or fold up, put the clothes that are clean back in here where they're supposed to go. Put this stuff up from cooking, my cutting board yesterday. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna try and clean this mess up today y'all okay and then i'm gonna show you the end results all right i'm done for the most part y'all got my clothes all put away got all that stuff put away uh got my fridge going that's where i usually keep my food and stuff right here books up there um my porta potty gotta have that even though i don't really use it a lot i really could fold it up and put it away to save space but you go in here and this is all clean i'm thinking i might replace this shelf here because um i think i want something with drawers i think drawers will kind of just make it look a little neater so it's not so much clutter but up here I got my usually my spices, um, scissors, can opener, knife, oil, honey, coffee, creamer, stuff like that. Behind it is my towels, toilet paper, paper towels, my lotion. Uh, and I bought some paper plates and paper bowls because this saved me from doing dishes all the time. And this is stuff that just kind of sits here that really has no home. My bag it has my books and mail and stuff and notebooks and stuff in there that i use this is my camera my portable sink my portable fireplace and some other stuff back there and usually i like to do this this helps me especially because i work a full-time job in corporate america so right there is my clothes for tomorrow. So I normally always get my clothes out for the next day, the day before, because it saves me time in the mornings and stuff. And I know I got like so many pillows here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and that one in the back. I don't know. I like to plop myself up, prop myself up and, and all that good stuff. Uh, when I'm reading and stuff. So my bed, I don't, you know, I could sleep under this, but it's been kind of warm. So I just get my sheet and I just kind of throw, throw my sheet back there <laughs> with my knife um, and stuff. And that's what I usually just lay over me when I go to sleep. So yeah, so it's pretty much clean. I got up there's my dirty clothes. I'm gonna put that back here so I got excuse me all my dirty clothes ready to be washed so it's clean for the most part that's as good as it gonna get today 
But other than that, I am getting hungry. I think I'm gonna leave this spot and try and find me some food because I don't feel like cooking. I cooked yesterday. I didn't record it. As you can tell, I am sweating, child. I cooked yesterday, I didn't record it. I actually made some salmon, stuffed salmon. Yeah, I made some stuffed salmon. Uh, oh, I scratched my eye. Some stuffed salmon. Um, I stuffed it with like a cream cheese, spinach, and Parmesan cheese mixture. It was really delicious. Really delicious and I had some broccoli with it. Um, so I did cook yesterday, but I don't feel like cooking today. So today is going to be take out, buy out, get me something, let somebody else cook for me, okay? But I don't know what I really want. I'm thinking Cordoba. I haven't had Cordoba in a while. Um, so yeah, so I'm thinking Cordoba. And I know it's supposed to rain tonight, so, um, that should make for a good sleep for tonight, the rain. So this is what I did today after work. I just came to the park, found it a shaded area, um, did my cleaning. Um, yeah, so I got my, my sister's birthday is in two days and she'll be here in two days and I'm really excited. And um, she's bringing my nephew and my niece in town. They're two and three, Eddie and Camelia. Milly Milly baby. So I'm so excited to see them and spend some time with them. Um, and I'll probably do a video. I'm not sure. See how crazy it gets. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm really excited about that. So I'll be probably, probably more than likely be at my mom's house during the duration that my sister is here so I can spend as much time with them as possible. Um, you know, so looking forward to our three-day Labor Day weekend. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to that. And I happen to go to work on Monday. So, you know, van life, van life, living in your van and having a full-time job has has its, its ups and downs and its challenges. Um, reason being, I wouldn't say challenges. I would say sometimes it gets a little mundane and bored because uh, you're kind of stuck and confined in one area and you really want to travel and see more stuff but you really can't because you got to go to work the next day but you know I say like this you always got to start somewhere with your goals and whatever your goals are just vision it and speak it speak it into an ex existence and I believe that you know if you work towards it it'll come true step day by day step by step um but I do got some things that I'm investigating and looking into um, as far as one of them being buying some land. Um, so I've been really saving my dough because <laughs> uh, I really wanna buy some land. I'm about to meet with a broker, um, a friend of mine's, a friend of our, our family's. And she's a broker, and I've been doing some research, so I kind of... Oh, guys, look, a deer. Please don't hit the deer. Did you guys see the deer? Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank God they didn't run over here by me, honey, because I ain't got no food for y'all. <laughs> but no. Um, yeah, I've been doing some research, and I have some questions, and I just want to pick her brain um, just to kind of brush my ideas off to see if they make sense or anything like that. Um, yeah, cause I want to, I've been looking at some land. I'm looking at at least an acre or two of, of land. Um, I've been looking in the Missouri area, um, somewhere that's maybe an, at least an hour and a half from my, from my, my job or which you can consider an hour and a half away from the city. Or something like that I like that area I'm not gonna say where because I don't know what's gonna happen it might not even be in the state of Missouri at the end of the day so I don't know but I'm looking to buy some land um, got some things up my sleeve so I want to be able to whatever land I purchase I want to pay cash for it I don't want to owe <laughs> so I don't know 
if that's possible i don't know but um i guess anything's possible if you put your heart and your mind in it right and you pray about it and the most high will help you get there i want to be able to grow my own food i want to farm um camp out on my spot i'm looking after i purchase my land i'll be looking into possibly buying a used mobile home or a used camper van or an art I mean camper trailer or or something that's going to be a little bit bigger than my Dodge Grand Caravan where it can be stationary but I can still have this together so when I do want to travel and go places and camp I can still do that so I don't know where my life's going to take me but I am definitely looking into and exploring um, buying a piece of land to build upon you know <laughs> interesting anyways let's go grab some food because your girl is hungry okay let's go find i'm thinking cadova sounds good hmm let's go see and chill out um, you can't stay here all night the park does close but you can come here and chill out I like this park because there's a lot of trees and stuff so there's a lot of places where you can um, park in a shaded area so that's one of the benefits that I like about this park and then also <clears throat> uh, I like it's a uh, Creevecore Lake I believe in Creve Court Park I believe but it also on the other side there's a part two to this park on the other side um, is the lake that I go to quite often as well but the only difference there at the lake you don't find too many uh, to you don't find a lot of shaded areas on the lake so I come here just to chill out I sometimes come here to cook my dinner um, and then leave um, you know before it gets before the park closes and go to my sleeping spot if not you know I wish these parks would allow people to like stay here all night that'd be awesome especially at the lake you know <laughs> I love waking up in the morning and seeing a nice fresh body of water a nice body of water I don't know how fresh it is but <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say we're gonna drive this way just so that I can show you guys the lake before I go grab me some food to put in my belly they say it's supposed to start raining about 8 or 9 o'clock. It's about 5.30 right now. I still got time, you know, before it starts pouring. Um, yeah. So this is the way to the lake. It's a pretty cool lake. I wish Missouri had, like, more lakes and rivers, like, close closer to the city like they do have some but you got to kind of drive way out somewhere um so i like this one i think i go to the missouri river as well um sometimes that that river is pretty nice too to go chill out 
Uh, not a lot of shade over there though. So, gotta be mindful of that. But here is the lake. I'm gonna show y'all the lake. Y'all can see the beautiful lake. You see, there's not a lot of shade over here. But other than that, it is. Let me get you off this thing so I can show you the lake. Look how beautiful it is. Oh, yes. Watch up. trails they got rental you can rent boats bikes canoes whatever you call them things and on this side of the, of the lake you can picnic um, they have additional parking and stuff over there so that's pretty nice um, yeah you can bring your boats I've seen people uh, doing all sorts of things out here in the lake it's pretty cool out here favorite foods to eat. I normally get the, um, what do you call that? The, um, uh, burrito bowl. Cause I don't need the tortilla thing. That's just way too much food. This is too much food too, but that makes you feel even fuller cause they stuff, they stuff their stuff, literally stuff it. But yeah. Anyways, check that out. Look at that. Can you see? Mm -hmm. Can you see? Oh, that looks so delicious. Oh, yes. Anyways. So, you guys, I just want to pick y'all's brain. Have you ever thought about purchasing land? Or have you purchased land? And what tips can you give me? What am I looking for? Mm. Oh, so what? Goodness gracious. Well, I'm looking for land that hopefully later on down the line build a tiny house on and also do a garden. Mm hmm. That's my goal. Mm hmm. So what y'all been up for the last week? What y'all been up to? You know, it's been, I think we're pretty much done with the heat wave because I literally been at my mom's house for a few days, maybe three or four days because it was just too hot to be in my van. Too, too hot. So I've been chilling at her house. I'm giving her some company she been giving me her company and that could have gave me some more sour cream that ain't even full y'all was ch mm -mm -mm. I wish I would have saw her I'm like girl you better fill that thing up I like sour cream okay yeah mm. see I like sour cream could have filled my stuff up child So, uh, yeah, I do got some things coming up that I'm looking into because before I decide to really commit to a tiny house or anything like that, I want to rent one and stay all night at one. Yeah, I want to rent one. So I've been looking at tiny houses like Airbnb type thing looking at tiny houses to be able to rent one and I think 
I want to rent one when it gets cooler um, outside. So I'm trying to wait for the weather to change a little bit so it gets a little cooler outside. I don't, I don't know why, but that's what I want to do when it gets colder outside. I want to rent um, a tiny house for either a night or a weekend or something like that. You know, like this weekend would have been great for something like that because we got the three day weekend, but my sister will be in town, so I'll be with her, my mom and the babies. So I'm really excited about that. Then, hopefully, y'all willing and COVID willing, I would be able to finally take my trip to Arizona in January. I got, I haven't plan, uh, mapped out my itinerary yet, what I want to do. But it's like a 22 hour drive to where I'm trying to, um, well, probably a little bit longer, but it's about 22, about over a 20 hour drive to Arizona. And actually, I'm gonna stop in to the Schooly Palooza, Palooza event that's going on in January in Parker, Arizona. Um, I'm thinking I might stay two or three days there. But then I also have my cousin and my aunt lives in Phoenix, Arizona. So I'm gonna go visit them for a day. And then I wanna like map out like my trip to Arizona. And each state I go through, I want to go see something within my route. Not outside my route, but within my route but don't take me too far off my path. And then, after that, I was looking for the, the bunny rabbit. <laughs> I was looking for Bugs Bunny. <laughs> um, then after that, I wanna go to the Grand Canyon for a day or two. So yeah, I'm really excited about my upcoming January vacation. This is good. I probably should have got the small bowl, the mini bowl, because I ain't going to eat all this. So I'm really looking forward to that. That's one thing I was saying about, like, people that live in their vans or vehicles that maintain a full-time job where you got to go into the office uh, Monday through Friday. You know, it definitely does limit your traveling capabilities you know it really does because you're kind of confined to an area but I guess in life you always have to sacrifice something to get to where you're trying to go so this is a sacrifice that I'm doing to reach my goals. New goals in life. And I think it's going to work. I'm going to stay focused and keep my eyes on the prize and get to where I want to go. As you can tell behind me, I pulled over at the Walmart parking lot so I could eat. I thought I had some shade, but it looked like the clouds must have moved. Okay. Mm. This is so good, y'all. Do y'all like Cadoba or Chipotle better? I'm a Cadoba girl. 
I prefer Cadoba over Chipotle. I think their food just tastes much better. And look, some people like Chipotle better. Um, and Chipotle don't have a habanero sauce. Cadoba has a habanero sauce, and I like that. And I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think if you want like your sour cream on the side or stuff, they charge you for it at Chipotle. I think they do. I'm not sure. It's probably been years since I've been there. So I wonder how many of you guys are interested or looking into van life. And if you are, why? I never really told the reason why I'm doing this. Well, there's a f lots of different reasons why I'm doing this. It's not just one thing. You know, van life is not like this picture perfect, scenic, scenic, sleeping on the ocean, the sleeping next to the ocean or the rivers or, you know, it's not like that all the time. <laughs> Okay, especially if you work a job. I mean, not saying that they don't work a job, but I work an office job in the city. So, if I, when I build myself up to be financially stable without my job, you best believe <laughs> your girl will do it. But I got a few other things under my belt that I've been procrastinating on that I need to really push, put forward. So, but yeah, it has its challenges. Space, being organized is one. You gotta, you gotta have a, you gotta have some sense of organization. You have to, it is so easy to get messy back there. So, 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 so easy to for it to get messy. You know? So, organization is one. Because it gets so annoying when you have to pull this out, to pull that out, just to get to something else behind it all the time. So, understanding, like, the things that you need it on a regular basis and finding a place and how to organize your van to put those things front and center. That's why I redid my, my van design for that reason because my first build, it was, oh, excuse me, it was definitely not convenient for those frequent things that I use all the time. It definitely was not. And um, this build is a lot better a lot better um, there are some things that I can do to make it a little bit better but it's not a lot but there are some things that I can do like I said I want to replace that white shelf back there oh my like, what's that noise someone's cutting grass <laughs> Okay, um, yeah, to have something with drawers. I need. I wanted something with drawers so that um, I can put stuff in it and it's, not, and it's not being visible to where it looks cluttery. Oh, yeah, I've been kind of looking for um, a drawer to put stuff in so that it's not visible so it doesn't look cluttered. So I think I might change that one day. That's definitely on my list to I don't like clutter and I don't know how you can say that living in a caravan <laughs> and I notice I think I have more clothes than I need but not really because I do go to work so I want to make sure I'm 
not wearing the same stuff over and over and over again. Have a little variety. You know? And then have your, your weekend chill out clothes. You know? So, yeah. Yeah, so some days are boring, some days are great. You know, like, I think tonight, when I get to my sleeping spot, I'm going to read some scriptures in my Bible, always, and um, also I'm going to, um, I've been watching this, 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 this TV series, it's on Netflix, it's called Manifest, oh, it's so addicting, it is so addicting, you guys should check it out, it's called Manifest. It's a pretty good show. Uh, me and my mom kind of been binge watching it every Saturday for like two weekends. <laughs> so I'm finally on uh, season three, the current season. So I'm finally on season three, and I think I have two more episodes to watch to catch up to catch up to you know to when it comes uh, creates a, a new show. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I think I'm gonna eat this whole bowl because it's so good. Ain't that much left? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyways, I don't know. I ain't got nothing to talk about for real. You know. So, I don't know, I shared some van life things. I shared some upcoming things I'm looking forward to doing. You know, um, so I'm kind of really excited about that. About renting a tiny house. I can't wait. I'm really excited. But I've been looking, you know, Missouri has a few to offer. I've also been looking at connecting states, like I believe it's Nebraska. Um... I've never been there, so just looking at a few different options. I want to try and rent like a tiny house that I think that I would like to build to kind of give me an idea of how does it feel to be in a tiny house. Yeah, I'm really excited about that. And I was thinking, like, if it, when it gets colder, you can have you a, hopefully they allow it, campfire, sit outside and not have to be worried about bugs, girl. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. And see, in my tiny house would be a place where safe haven for my family where when the economy collapse and I hate to say I'm not being negative but when it does I want to be able to have a place where my family can go and we can harvest our own food in a sense that's what I look forward to that's the long morning guy he's um uh, what do you call that thing the weed whacker or the edger thing I don't know what you call it I guess I gotta learn that stuff, huh? <laughs> you gotta ignore me. Mm -mm. You ever do the food dance? Where the food be good and you just do the food dance? Yeah, I do. I do the food dance.
Anyways, y'all, I'm going to let y'all roll. Let y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day. But this sometimes is van life. You just pull over, eat you some food, chill out for a minute. I'm sitting here looking at bushes. Over there is the store. So sometimes it's not always glamorous. And that's the reality of van life. There's no scam. Someone did write, wrote that on my, one of my comments on one of my videos. Saying that van life is a scam. Who am I scamming? I wonder, who am I scamming? Am I lying? <laughs> By far, no. <laughs> mm -mm. And maybe... I just be lazy sometimes to do like my nighttime routine and it's gonna come, it's gonna come. Trust me. How I get organized at night, how I brush my uh, brush my teeth and wash my face in the morning for work, how I get dressed for work in the mornings, living in my van, no one at my job knows. <laughs> uh uh. They don't know. They don't need to know. Not their business. Right? Right. Right. So, that's going to all come to and stuff. See, it's clean. It's clean back there. That stuff right there, those are just my window reflecting reflectors from my windows. They just lay on the bed. They go um, to these two windows and the this window back here that's where they go so i usually just take them off lay them on the bed and go mm -hmm. yeah i ate my whole dinner with me and the crazy thing is i ate the whole bowl don't talk about me do not talk about me it's good my last bite Mm. I definitely enjoyed that. Thank you, Cordoba. Mm -hmm. The where I'm going to sleep is not too far from here. I really didn't feel like driving out anywhere today. I want to be somewhere close to my job. So where I'm going is maybe five minutes from my job. <laughs> For literally five minutes. Gives you an opportunity to sleep in longer. Uh, save some gas and not put as many miles on your vehicle. You know, for now. Because sometimes I'll drive like an hour away from my job to my other place that I go to. It's so good for the body. Water. So good for the body. I always tell people, you gotta, you know, I know we got all sorts of things to drink out here, but you gotta still drink some water. And I say that because water help, helps cleanse. C cleanse, to me, it helps cleanse out your body. Especially your bladder. You know, I always tell people, Imagine like how we clean, clean our clothes and wash our dishes. We always use water to do that. Imagine using Pepsi to clean your clothes in or to wash your dishes in. You know, so it's not, not going not gonna to be as clean. At least I don't think so, honey. So drink water. Water is good. Yes, it is. Anyways, you guys. Whew, I'm full. I'm going to go find me a trash can. Throw this away. 
and head to my spot where I'm going to rest for the evening. I don't like to get to my spots that I rest for in the evening until uh, until it start, you know, later on until it starts again around dark time. Um, I don't want to overdo my my welcome and you know you don't want to be there parked there for an extremely long period of time though either you just you're just going there to sleep that's it and leave early in the morning that's what i do i leave early in the morning um i normally you know i, I usually try to be at work at seven so that's what i do baby these people with this limo mm -hmm. That's what I do. So I try to leave at a decent time. I don't leave no mess. Don't leave no mess. Uh -huh. Yeah. Anyways, you guys. I don't know. I ain't got nothing going on. So, I enjoyed uh, y'all having dinner with me and and seeing my before and after mini cleanup of my van. I was thinking I need to get me um, a little car vacuum thing. And, and I've been wanting to get it, but I've been trying to save money and trying to live without it. Um, it's in my Amazon cart. And it's been in there for like three or four weeks. I just haven't pushed the purchase button because I'm just trying to, you know, see if I can live without it. But there's some, one time I spilt like a whole bunch of salt in my back on the on the rug. But my I was fortunate for my mom had a little car vacuum, so I was able to use hers. You see that? I don't know what happened to my forehead. I got a little spot and it won't go away and I keep picking at it and that's not good it's probably gonna leave a scar right in the middle of my forehead mm -hmm, mm -hmm. girl maybe I should get like some vitamin E or some aloe vera gel or something or some cocoa butter or something to try and get rid of the scar what should I I'm not really sure what to use to help get rid of it it's like a, it's still scabbing a little bit. And I keep picking at it and I shouldn't. I know I shouldn't. I know I shouldn't. But it just annoys me. I be thinking if I pick the scab and it disappear. No, honey. <laughs> I'm just creating a scar on my forehead. Silly girl. Anyways, y'all. Anyways, I love ya. Love ya. Love ya. Love ya. Stay blessed. Stay prayed up. You know? stay prayed up keep your eyes on the most high during these difficult times in life that's the best advice that i can i can give a person at this hour and, and so much is going on in the world i mean it just it can it can be a little <clears throat> a little worrious worrying war worries oh goodness child i cannot say that word anyways it can be bothersome seeing everything that's going on in the world. And I think a lot of people don't even have a clue what's going on in the world. I think a lot of people are just in la-la land somewhere. I don't know, but there's a lot going on in the world. And you know, um, I know a lot of people be like, I don't know. I'm just keeping my eyes on the most high. I'm giving, putting all my faith in him, even my faith in him to protect me from coronavirus. Um, because I believe that's what we're supposed to be doing, putting our trust in him right now. And that's just for me. It ain't probably for everybody. So everybody is not me. So my trust says, my spirit says, trust the most high. He will protect you. You have the blood of his son on you you repent you stay prayed up you you do all of those things you know and you try to be a good person you know and now you know 
and I thank him. I was, I thank him all the time. I thank him so much because I have not yet gotten COVID. Will I ever get COVID? Only time will tell. I'm not so proudful and boastful, but like, oh no, I ain't gonna get it because I got God on my side. Well, you know, okay, that might get you in trouble. <laughs> you know, actually, you know, to be honest, if you ask me, I think I already had COVID way before March. I think I got sick like December. Um, COVID came out 2019, right? 20, yeah, 2019. I think I got sick that December before uh, it was well known that COVID was here. I got sick and I, I think my sickness lasted like a month. And it was a weird sickness because I had the cough, I was congested, and usually when I get that way, um, I will go buy like some mucinex or something to kind of loosen that, that stuff up inside of my chest. And that stuff was not, that cough that I had was horrible horrible but it didn't affect my breathing or anything i didn't have a runny nose or nothing it was just cough and chest congestions so i don't know what that was about i don't know if that was you know a mild symptom of covid i don't know but during that time it wasn't known covid wasn't really like known to the public like it is now so for me, I didn't know. I didn't go to the doctor or anything like that. No one got sick around me. Um, so, I, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm grateful and I'm thankful that it has not caught up to me yet. You know, um, I am one of the unvaccinated people. I still wear my masks. I got all sorts of masks. Okay cloth and everything and I keep them clean I um, I keep my hand sanitizer with me yes and um, I don't really hang out too much in like crowded places I the most crowded place I go to is maybe the stores and my job which it can be very transmittable there as well but I can't, I can't, I'm not in a position to not go to work and I'm not in a position to not go to the store. So I gotta do what I gotta do. But I just try to be cautious and aware of my surroundings. So I hope you guys are being safe out there as well. I hope you guys are, are doing what you feel is necessary for yourself. I hope you make the right decisions um, during this time in life, so. I just want to say peace and blessings, shalom to all of you, and I'll see you on my next video.